Okay, so welcome back to our quarter two, week one and week two, Mathematics 9 for your guidance and instruction of the following weeks. Okay, for week one, it talks about direct variation. So in this lesson, we will be studying on how to illustrate situations involving variations. Okay, so there are four types, direct, inverse, joint, and combined. For week one, that is direct. For week two, inverse. For week three, that is joint. And for week four, that is combined. So we will be having a tutorial only for week one and week two, that is for direct and inverse. Okay, first, you have their direct variation. Direct variation is a relation when one quantity is equal to a constant times the other quantity. This can be expressed into the mathematical statement or equation as y equals kx or k times x, where k is equal to y over x. So if we say direct variation, there is only one relation. And question is, where did we get k? So k, since that is variation, that is the variation between two variables that is y and y x or the value of k is equal to y over x so we will just only divide this one by x and this one also by x cancel ang x ang x that is why k is equal to y over x so sample statement y varies directly as x y is directly proportional to x or y is proportional to x so since this is direct variation so therefore the two quantities y and x as the increase of x causes the increase on y and the decrease of x causes also the decrease of y. So meaning, kung musaka ang y, musaka po ang x. Kung musaka po ang x, musaka po ang y. So let us note only the statement varies directly, directly proportional, is proportional. Para makaingon tanga, that is a direct variation. Okay, let us try some example. So you have their example of statements. Okay, number one, A is directly proportional to B. So translation, A is equal to KB. Na I always see K, that is your constant variation. Okay, number two, the circumference represented by C is direct, varies directly as the length of diameter D. So meaning, C is equal to KD. Number three, the cost C of a fish varies directly as the number of N. So meaning, C is equal to k n. Okay, let us apply this one. Okay, example number one. If y varies directly as x, so y varies directly as x, and y is equal to 48 when x is equal to 16. Find the constant variation of the equation. So meaning, ang gipangitaan ni is only the value of k. So, atong gipangita ang value sa k at the same time ang iyang equation. Okay, solution. So first ha, kinisay atong buhaton. Okay, y varies directly as x. Okay, so as y varies directly as x, so ang ato equation, mauni, y varies directly as x. So that is k, x. Then, na may value sa y, which is equal to 48, na may value sa x, which is equal to 16. So atong substitute, you have there y is equal to 48, ang k remain, kaya mamayagi pangita na to, then ang x na to is 16. So in order for us to find the value of k, let us divide both sides by 16. So morning 16 over 16 para matanggal ni 16. So 48 po divide 16. So 48 divide 16 you have equals 3. So therefore, the value of constant variation which is k is equal to 3. Then let us proceed. y is equal to kx kaya ang pangitaon ani what is the equation? So since we have all we have already the value of k which is 3 at or I substitute y is equal to 3x. Sir, question, asa naman ang 48, asa naman ang 16? Meaning, kausara na ni mong gamitod sa first run na nga equation. Okay? Next, number 2. If p varies directly as q, diha sa kakutob, so maaning p equals k q. Na kay value sa p, which is 25, and q ni mo is 5. So, substitute, so on and so forth, that is k. The follow-up question, what is the value of Q when P is 80? So, di na nini mo balikon. Ha? Di na nini mo balikon o gamit. Nga rin, napunta. Kung saan may itong gamiton? Ang P is 80, then naakay value sa K, which is 5. Manang imibutang diha. P is equal to KQ. 
So, ang P na to karon is 80 man. Ang K na to is equal to 5, which is this one. So, ato is substitute. Then, you have there 80 is equal to 5 PQ. Then, divide na to both sides by 5 para makuha ng 5 tapad sa Q in order for us to get only Q, which is equal to 16. So, therefore, the constant variation is equal to K and the value of Q when P is equal to 80 is equal to 16. Okay, let us apply this one into a problem solving. Here, number 3. The amount of paint P needed to paint the walls of the rooms varies directly as the area A. So, P, mauni ang atong solution, P is equal to KA, meaning paint varies directly as the area. How many gallons of paint, meaning P, is needed to paint a wall with an area of 120 square meters? So, ang ipangita na, na to karon is ang number of paint kung magpintal ka o 120 square meters. If, raha, following, if, kung duha ka galon, if 2 gallons of paint can cover 48 square meter wall. So, ang atong gamitin ka ning last, na kay duha ka galon, makapaint ka o 48. Ang atong question, pila ka galon sa paint kung 120 mo na sa last na to nga gamitin. Okay, first, you have ang P na to, 2 gallons. Then, ang area niya nga makabar, 48. So, divide na to by 48, 48. So, 2 over 48, atong gisimplify, that is 1 over 24. That is our K. Next, ato is substitute ang K. Ang K na to, since that is 1 over 24, then 120. Mano na ang question? How many gallons of paint? Ha? So, how many gallons of paint? It's needed to paint a wall of 120 square meters. Since na atay value sa K nga 1 over 24 times ang square meter nga atong pintalan is 120, maka come up siya og 5 gallons. Therefore, 5 gallons of paint is needed to paint a 120 square meter wall. Okay? So, for your assessment, you have there already na, na ang answer given ha na sa back portion or either sa below portion sa inyong module or learning activity sheet but be sure to show your solution your ans answer key is only your guide okay number one or letter a in each of the following y varies directly as x so given na dun ha tanang y mo vary directly as x so meaning atong equation ani y equals kx so kinaunhan kung y ni mo is 8 X ni mo is 24, P like K. Kung naanak kay K, ang imong answer nga to, ah, imo na po is substitute diri, ah, ang X ni mo is 6. Number 1 and number 2. For letter B, solve the following problems. Okay. In 100 kilometer trip, so you can use either variable for kilometer, that is K. Juju used to, uses 12 letters of gasoline. So, pwede rin kag L. Uh, depende na na ni mo. Mabun sa gamitan yung variable. Either for kilometer, para sa yun ra, K. And letters, that is L. Then, number two, mutya sold two basket. So, pwede rag two, ang imong variable is B. Then, ang imong 30 pesos, that is P. Pwede rag na, ikaribahala kung unsa variable as long as na follow ni mo kung unsa ang given na problem. Okay? Now, let's proceed to week two, inverse variation. Okay, inverse variation of course, when one quantity is equal to a constant times the inverse of the other quantity. Oh, this can be expressed into mathematical equation. Oh, tanawa, y equals k over x. Ganina, sa direct variation na to, y equals kx. Tapad na sila ni x. Karon si x na nasa ubos, which is over. Okay, where k is the constant variation of proportionality and x is a non-zero real number. So, statements can be y varies inversely as x and y is inversely proportional to x. Then, the statement means for two quantities x and y, an increase of x causes the decrease. O, oh, bali na ni. Kung mo increase si x, mo decrease si y. Kung mo, de kung mo decrease si y, mo increase si x. So, lahi ganina sa direct variation niya. Kung musaka ang x, musaka po ang y. Okay, so nanay an inverse na binali na silbi. So, let us take these statements. Uh, tanawa, x is inversely proportional to y. So, x equals k over y. Meaning, divide na ha. Ganina, tapad raman to, which is times. Okay. Number two, f needed to break a board varies inversely as the length. So, 
inversely proportional, inverse, or inversely varies inversely. Maano yung mga statement niya itong timana. So, F varies inversely to the length which is L. So, F equals K over L. Ang usa time, T equals K. Ang R na to is ang rate. So, ganina na. Diritso ra, straight ra. Mga itong direct proportional. Karon na nasa ubos ang atong next nga variable. Example. Okay, example number one. If y varies inversely as x and y equals 3 when x equals 2, o kanaar ka, find the constant of variation and the equation. So, pangitaon na po na to ang value sa k o ang iyang equation after kung naanay k. Okay, tanawa. Y varies inversely as x. So, mani, y equals k over x. Ang y kuno na to is 3. Ang x na to is 2. So, yun sa mana, sir, nga nung nahimu man ng 6. So, cross multiplication, kana cross multiply na deha di ba ang 3 is over 1 so 3 times 2 then k times 1 so 3 times 2 maunis dyang 6 equals k so natay value sa k which is equal to 6 then ato na i-substitute diri y is equal to k over x so nangita naman tayo sa equation na naman tayo value sa k na to which is equal to 6 ato ra i-substitute so y is equal to k over x or cross multiplication y times x so manang x y equals x. Number two, suppose A varies inversely as B. O, nara, A varies inversely as B. When B is equal to 4 and A equals 1 half. Okay, ang B kuno na to is 4. So, kanira, find A when B is equal to 18. O, darin na punta. Start as a B and A. Okay, ang A na ho is 1 half. Nara. Then, ang B na ho is Four. So, cross multiply ka na. So, cross multiply. So, 1 times 4, maunang 4. 2 times k, maunang 2k. So, naanak tayo 2k o equals 4. Para matanggal na to ang 2, ato na po yung over 2. Over 2 po. Okay, para in order for us to find the value of k. So, therefore, k na to is equal to 2. Na naman tayo k which is equal to 2, ato na po nang gamitin nga rin. Kung ang imong value sa b is 18. So, a equals k over b. So, naakay k which is 2. Ang b na to is equal to 18. So, therefore, ang value sa atong a karon after getting the constant which is k, is equal to 1 over 9. Number 3, the number of hours t, so hours man represented by t, which is time, required to finish a certain job varies inversely as the number of person n. Ay, butang na to n. So, ang ato equation, maunay, T equals K over N. Ang imong time mo varies inversely sa imong person. On the job. Okay. If 16 person requires 18 hours to finish the job, how long would it take 16 persons to finish the job? So, kung disisize ko no kataw, mahuman nila 18 hours, pila ka oras kung 64 na kabok person. Okay. So, first, 16 o 18 ato it take. So, ang time ni mo, pila to? 18 hours mo ni. Ang K, unknown. Ang N na to, 16 persons. So, cross multiplication. So, 18 times 16, mo ning 288. So, mo na yung value sa atong K, which is 288. Atong gamitin nga rin. Pila na time. Kaya ang question, how long would it take? Ang time na po. So, na naman kay K, which is 288. Ang N ni mo karon is new, which is 64. So, i-divide ni mo, that is 4 0.5 meaning the time taken by the 64 workers to be complete this job is 4.5 hours or 4 hours and 30 minutes. Okay, so for your assessment, have there solve for the indicated variable on each of the following. So uh, y varies inversely as x. Okay, oh, ba na? Then r varies inversely as the cube of s. So kung mayingon tag cube of s, s to the power of 3. Okay, so for number or letter B, two college students decided to rent an apartment near the school where they are studying. So, kamo na bahala sa kuananahan. The nearest and the cheapest apartment cost 5,000 kada buwan, which they found find too much for their monthly budget. How many students they will need to share the rent? So, pila ka buko? Para ang ilang bayron nun is only 1,250. Number two, at 60 kilometers per hour, it takes Loida 10 hours to travel for her house to their house in the province. How long would it take if she travels 80 kilometers an hour? 
Okay, so that's all for grade 9, quarter 2, weeks 1, and week 2. So, again, don't forget to like, share, comment if you have, and subscribe to this channel in order for you to be updated for the next math tutorial or gui for guidance and instruction of your learning activity sheets or modules. So we will be doing this because of our situation, which is the pandemic due to COVID-19. Stay safe and God bless students.